huge. I just had, you know, you just you just kind of sparked that into my head. I need to check in on the Skype Raspberry Pi project and see how. Oh, is there is there a Skype Raspberry? There Pi? was, there was, there was a presentation a while ago. Um, it looked like it was still pretty janky though. But if to get those, and if I move over to a system where we're doing this over like a direct input that I can install a few cards in, in uh, now that I have a computer I can do that too. Mm -hmm. And then instead, because your, your feed's coming over desktop presenter, which is coming over the network. And, and it gets a little, like, typically what I see here is not as good as what I'm actually seeing on your computer, right? Okay. And I have yeah. issues with some other things, like on the Mac, it's always delayed. I don't know why, doesn't matter which one it is, but it's always delayed on a Mac, even when it's like a newer, newer Mac. Do you think it's that? Do you think it's desktop presenter doing that? I'm pretty sure it's like a it's it's a desktop presenter issue. So I'd like to get to the point where we're just directly pulling your video from these computers or another computer, and then I'm not dependent on that platform. Like I was talking before about uh, being dependent on a platform issue with desktop presenter not being compatible with like Chrome boxes. I could potentially mm -hmm. use. Um, but the idea that I could just grab a bunch of $35 Raspberry Pis, throw a Skype thing on it, and just connect that with everybody, that's kind of a cool idea. I, I don't know. The, the only thing I know, Microsoft recently, well, and, and by recently, I mean within the last couple of months, I thought they said that they were going to discontinue their APIs to allow third parties companies to make and they would do that wouldn't they clients. they would wouldn't they uh so so there goes that maybe i can well, it, it, it may work and in, in fact skype's coming out with a box yeah. meant for podcasting yeah and, yeah and, uh they're gonna media i i saw this i'm sure it's way out of my price range which is not, which is like negative zero um <laughs> but uh <laughs> how far is negative zero from positive zero uh, it looks like a baseball f or a football field from here, from <laughs> from th from this angle. I I'll tell you that. So, um, I mean, come on, we get paid in pizza around here, you know, and we're lucky on that one. Uh, so, slice on Broadway, check them out. <laughs> I, I may I may have I got to go through a. I'm looking at two laptops right now. I don't know what the processors are in them. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we have, we have talked about this, but yes. Most of what happens down here is based on donations. I didn't pay mm -hmm. for that monitor. I didn't pay for that monitor. Thanks for that one, by the way, Chilla. Your, your, oh, no your arm thing. That helped out earlier a lot. That's going on. on this Which monitor. one? Is that the Dell one or is the that Dell, a different one? The Dell arm crazy thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, like most of this, this studio, most of this wonderful video you see is donation-based. So. Now, what would – and and pardon my ignorance. What would Skype – get you that you're not getting through hangout with desktop presenter are you talking about um like about this broadcasting or putting it on a raspberry pi or on the raspberry pi or any of those oh, any just, of there's no preference on there it's just a you know that's a cheap solution that i could just stack a bunch of those connect them through and you know, and what would you do hdmi out into your switcher that's kind of the idea that okay. well I would have to get some black magic cards or boxes or something to HDMI through because I want everybody, everything to eventually be pure. The best picture we have, because I, this is getting into a whole other technical thing, but I guess this is the place to do it. Um, the way Wirecast is right now, um, they, the only reason you have HD video from this camera, because this camera is not Firewire. This is a $30 Logitech camera. Okay. And so is uh, that one over there. <laughs> and they look amazing, don't they? And we're actually recording 720, you know, HD. And I was like, you know, great. It looks, it looks fantastic. And now I pull over to you, you know, it's, uh, you know, a little, little sketchy, you know. Uh, and the biggest issues uh, I have, it's not really Hangouts fault or anything. It's just I don't have fast enough computers for it. And it really, uh, Hangout is a huge processor whore. Mm -hmm. Huge resource hog. Um, and that's why we've kind of cycled out some of the older ones. Or older ones failed. There's a Pentium D over there. It decides not to boot anymore. Um, you know that kind of, that kind of thing. So I, I'm actually looking at. Um, and you saw the tweet the other day. I was looking for yeah. smaller machines that we can just kind of stack, so I don't have this kind of weird array of desktops <laughs> sitting around. Um, so we can just stack them up, plug them in. They're running desktop presenter. They're a pretty good clip. I figured maybe like an i3 would be enough 
for for the time being because i because i don't need i don't need to push an hd signal from these computers i just need to receive it from you mm -hmm. and right now you're sitting on a tri-core amd laptop that originally ran vista what about a NUC? what's a NUC? the um intel next unit of computing kit I I saw a couple of those, but they didn't look like they they came with proce processors. Um, so that's the that's pretty much the only thing they come with. Okay. So like this one I'm looking at right now is two sixty six ninety eight on Amazon. It's an i three mm -hmm. with gigabit LAN, dual HDMI out. Yes. I, um, I, so these it doesn't it doesn't come with so the processors in there. Okay. The the, the trick is usually. I would say two times out of five. Um, so what is that? Forty percent or whatever. So here's um, they're, 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 you're not going to get memory. Okay, that's, you, that's not a problem. Or, you may or may not get um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Not a problem. And you may or may not get something to write to, like um, SSD. Not so terribly a problem. There, there's where there's where you may get into some problems, but I think you're seeing um, so fully built. I think this one's this comes with like if you want 64 gig of M SATA, it's an extra hundred bucks. But I don't need a lot. That's the, the thing. I don't right. need because all I'm doing is just going to sit there. It's running an OS and it streams. Be yeah, and you can get some of these these um there's additional ones that are new they're they're, they're big on amazon and new egg mm -hmm. um but they're about the size of an apple tv and it would be tremendous if um these could get to a point where i can like maybe some of them become these are ones we take to places to make those connections you know mm -hmm. like the reason i would have a mac mini but again don't have a budget for a Mac Mini. In my perfect world, I would just buy a stack of Mac Minis and we'd be done with it. But again, negative zero budget, you know. Um, and maybe that'll change, you know. Uh, we have some new projects coming up that may fund it. We don't know. We're working on those logistics right now. So, but the, so I am looking at the point where we're not just like, hey, here's a bunch of computers that I have acquired over the years, and we'll get the most out of it that we can let's actually look into what do we need to do to make this look as good as possible still under budget but at least like dedicating some hardware for it so i have to drag my poor macbook down here you know <laughs> i mean remember the longest time i just took my i brought my mac mini down here every week the mac mini i edit documentaries and crap on and brought it down here wirecast and the night i carry it back up and start editing you know, I was just like, okay, we need to get something down here, um, and and we and we did, and we got a Lenovo, and uh, other than my absolute hate for Windows 8, and it's been a little more crashy uh, than I like. Uh, Wirecast mostly works. Cool, cool. Yeah, you're, these these devices are, are pretty much ranging anywhere from like 150 up up to, and you're maxing you're you're maxing out at like five hundred dollars. Couple five hundred dollar devices or i5 has wells with mm -hmm. 512 gig of of sata ssd i mean 8 gig or 8 gig 16 gig of ram so i mean if you're looking something in the i3 range i, I think you could do here's one for like 388 prime shipped and it's it's pretty well built out and that just the size of it and this has four usb3 ports this this uh, this is this is uh, this thing happening in the chat room right now is exactly how the studio comes together this is this is <laughs> such a community literally community built studio um because right now doug's in there asking about getting rid of a monitor because his wife wants it out of the basement and that usually <laughs> ends up here you know how many you haven't been here for a few weeks you know how many tvs are down here now um it's pretty crazy uh it's uh, but pretty fantastic that we're, we've been able to do this. Would you like an EMAC? Would I like an EMAC? You already <laughs> asked me. Yes, I want it. Did you, do you see the IMAC sitting over there? Do you want a friend? <laughs> well, it's not exactly what you call small. And <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. I, especially like old Macs like that because I'm fascinated by that. Because mm -hmm. I didn't get into Macs until 2006-ish. 
So, um, and I absolutely hated them when I was in school. So I avoided them at all costs. 